This video will review Chapter 8, Section 1A, Three States of Water. So water exists in three states in on the Earth. We have a solid, which is uh, found as ice. There's the liquid state, which is um, you know, liquid water in oceans and rivers and streams. And then the gaseous form, which is actually pictured here and here, where you can't see it because it's a gas. So as water absorbs and loses energy, it will change its phase. So water that is frozen has very little energy. And as it gains more and more water, it will melt and become liquid. And as that liquid gains more and more water, it will then boil off and become steam. And then the opposite is true. As water releases its energy, it will move from gas to liquid. And then even more, it will change from liquid back into a solid. Here's the exact same idea, but instead of in your kitchen, it's on Earth. So we have ice, liquid water, and then the water as a gas here, shown as a giant cloud or a hurricane at this point. So the details of it are this. When water is melting, it gains 334 joules for every gram of water. When it freezes, which is the opposite, it will release that same amount. When water is turning into a vapor, it will gain 2,260 joules per gram. And then when that water condenses back into a liquid from a gas, that energy will then be released. So in some real world examples of that, water that is ev evaporating, the water molecules are gaining energy in order to become a gas. So the water molecules start off down here in the ocean. As they evaporate up, they have gained energy. And therefore, the opposite is true. The water molecules up here as a gas, when they turn into the liquid, in this case, the cloud itself, they release their energy at 334 joules per gram. So if you were to take a set amount of ice and begin heating it, starting it at a temperature below zero, so right now the temperature is below zero, if you were to heat it, its temperature would rise until it got to the zero point, and then the temperature would remain very, very steady. During this point, it is melting. That is melting. And this marker is too big, but that is melting. Once it has melted, the temperature will then begin to rise again. And when it reached 100 degrees, it will remain the same. This is the point where it is vaporizing. It is turning into a gas molecule. And then those molecules of gas, their temperature can rise above that 100 degree point. So what you need to know. Water exists on Earth in all three phases. It requires tremendous amounts of energy to change its phase. The reference table shows you the amount of energy needed. Vaporization absorbs heat. Uh, fusion or condensation releases that heat. This has been the review of Section 1A in Chapter 8.